And all new tonight at 11 o'clock. The work they're doing at the Army Research Lab is groundbreaking. Yeah, you wouldn't even know they're there, tucked away in Aberdeen Proving Ground. Yeah, but their mission is clear, coming up with technology to help our troops in the field. So we went on the front lines with researchers to see how they're working to ease their burden. Not only do the men and women in the military often face danger at every corner, they do it bogged down, weighed down with gear and weapons, sometimes up to 100 pounds. We're looking at reducing the soldiers' fatigue and also, as I said, potentially improving their lethality via improved marksmanship mm -hmm. and um, allowing them to bear uh, higher energy weapons. Dan Beckley is a mechanical engineer working behind the scenes in the Army Research Laboratory. That's the Army's corporate lab. He and his team are dedicated to helping our soldiers on the battlefield. So this is a uh, mechanical appendage that attaches on one side to the tactical vest that the soldier wears and on the other side would attach to uh, either the weapon or potentially a shield and it takes the weight of either that weapon or shield back to the body. It takes up to 20 pounds off of your arm. They call it the third arm. It's made of carbon fiber and weighs just four pounds. Using an airsoft rifle and tracking technology, they're working to perfect their prototype. It's designed to redistribute the weight of a weapon that could weigh up to 30 pounds. But as they refine it, there's a lot to consider. The system keeps track of where that, where I'm aiming, so I can tell with and without the arm, am I doing better at shooting? That you have a system now that can hold the weapon uh, and potentially also redistribute recoil forces back to the body. Outside of the lab at the Aberdeen Proving Ground, researchers are relying on soldiers like Sergeant First Class David Hoisington for feedback. Shooting his AR-10, equipped with his third arm, some 50 meters or half a football field away from the target, his precision was dead on. We want to help that, um, that man or that woman in uniform um, and help them to perform better on the battlefield. Frank Morelli is also a scientist. Human performance is his area of expertise, tracking the interface between the equipment the soldiers carry and the soldiers themselves. Clear. This is only the second prototype for the third arm. They're still testing and fine-tuning. Basically, what we would probably need to do is make this arm longer so you can get that weapon further away from your body. This M240 Bravo weighs nearly 30 pounds, and it's meant for two soldiers. But from their hands-on research with SFC Hoisington, they've learned the third arm can also hold this heavy weapon, too. Our soldiers are burdened. Um, with uh, weight, weight due to ammo, weight due to weaponry, weight due to a lot of the gear that they carry. Um, and so this is one way to kind of uh, mitigate that burden. And while those tools are necessary for them to protect and serve, the mission for this group of researchers is to make that load as light as possible. They're always doing some really cool stuff oh, in the yeah. area. They've been around for 25 years, and their goal really is to come up with technology that makes it easier for our troops to do their job out in the field. I need a third arm. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. How, how heavy was it? It only weighs four pounds. And you, you felt it. Yes, I mean, well, it's like a carbon, gun, but... carbon fiber that's so lightweight, yeah. but basically it's shifting your body weight and takes the weight off of the weapon, so he kind of gives you another place to redistribute the weight. So when are we going to see it on the battlefield then? Well, they don't have an exact date yet. It's a work in progress, but what they're trying to do is start the progress so they can take a look at down the road, future, because you want heavier weapons, more power, and so you need to have something to be able to redistribute that so they can have those heavier weapons in. Genius.